Alrighty guys, Madman Mundello coming at you live from the Gordondale Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Alrighty, Mr. Andrew Hansen. Andrew went ahead and he purchased a console off the website from us and uh, here it is, it's all done. Okay, ASV3, 320 gig drive, up in the line servers along with a 10 day trial of the Purge 4 GTA 5. We're going to boot it right now. And with some kind of crazy luck we'll get it to boot. And then what I'm going to do here, alright, is, oh this thing is terrible. Wait a minute. There we go. Now. Okay. We're booting up. And we're going to boot up into FSD Dash. Alright, we're going to get some notifications from the server letting us know it's online live and all that other happy nonsense. Once that happens, I'm going to roll through this thing with you just to show you what you got on here. Okay, and explain a couple things at the end of the video on how to get it online for the first time. Okay? You're only going to do that. It's a one-shot deal. You do it once. Okay, so here we go. Alrighty, under emulators, Genesis Plus 360, Genesis 360, and May. May compliment of ROMs on there that will keep you busy for a long time and then some. Then, of course, we have our Xbox 360 Classic Games. We have Brothers in Arms, and we have Halo. And then our homebrew section where our tools reside. We have Dash Launch, XM360, XEX Menu, Xbox 360 Dashboard, Voice Changer 360, Simple Man Flasher, FX Menu, Flash 360, and back to Dash Launch. Xbox Live Arcade. A myriad, mind-boggling amount of arcade games. Uh, there is a bunch on here, including Trail Park King, one of my favorites. <laughs> All right, and then of course we have our regular Xbox 360 games. Okay, now we'll roll through this. We have Advanced Warfare, Warface, Tomb Raider, Super Street Fighter 4, Splinter Cell, Sega Superstars 10, Saints Row the Third, Red Dead Redemption, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Hitman, Halo CE, Halo 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, Gears of War Judgment, Gears of War 3, Gears of War 2, Gears of War, Fear 2, Defiance, Call of Duty World of War, Black Ops 3, Ghost, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty 2, Bolt Storm Epic Edition, Borderlands the Pre-Sequel, Borderlands 2, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 4, and back to Advanced Warfare. Now, to get to the original dashboard, go to your homebrew section right here. Click on Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, mash the A button once again, and now you will see and it comes up, hello again, Andrew Hansen, you're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live, you're on Dashboard 17559. You currently have 30 reserved days left. Got it good? Okay. We will bypass the sign-in. And as you can see, you're up, you're online, you are live. On a beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD. And in our fifth tab, our ghost sheets and Modern Warfare 3 sheets. And of course, to get back to the original dashboard, just smash, well, I get back to FSD dash, just smash the A button and Xbox Home. That will take you back. Now, all right, my friend. Here's the deal here. When you first get this thing, what you're going to have to do is there is a startup and there's a way to start this thing up to get it on your network for the first time. And I'm going to go through it with you. All right. So this is what we're going to do. When you get this thing before you do anything. All right. What I want you to do is I want you to pull this. All right. And then what I want you to do. All right. Is I want you to pull the hard drive out. Once you do that. Then I want you to power it on. Okay, when you power it on, you're going to come to the Xbox Blackboard screen. When you come to the Blackboard screen, slide to the right. Go to System, go to Settings, go to Network Settings. Once you're at Network Settings, okay, you're going to see your Wi-Fi access point pop up. Once you click on it, put your password in. When you do, it's going to initialize a test. It's going to check mark off LAN. It's going to fail on the Internet. It's going to fail on Xbox Live. When it completely fails, shut the system down. Then, take the hard drive, slide it back in, seats with a click, grab your drive door. Put your drive door on. Pull the power cord. Okay, let that sit three to five minutes so that way then it clears the SMC and all that other happy nonsense. Now, once that happens, like I said, three to five minutes, we want to clear everything out of there, including all the garbage, DNS, and all that crap. Once that happens, and three to five minutes, plug it back in, power it back on, and you'll be good to go. Listen, brother, I want to thank you for your business. I greatly appreciate it. We're going to be shipping it off tomorrow. Lorraine will have a tracking number for you by tomorrow evening. Thank you so much. Guys, you all have a good one. Holler at you later. I'm on my next one.